Argentina, of course, taking to the field for the first time in this edition of the most prestigious festival in world football. No doubt looking for a performance to set a tone. There's his great vocal support. There are many, many who have travelled to watch them, and every one of those supporters willing them to give everything back for the cause. It is beautifully set here. It truly is quite a sight to behold here. The Minerao, amongst the largest stadia in this part of the world. The strains of the national anthem of Australia. That was impressive. Match that. The imperative for everyone, three points on opening day. Yeah, and it's obvious, Peter, you don't want to be playing catch-up after the opening group game. So we can expect this to be highly competitive. Three points here and the feel-good factor of eventual progression kicks in. It's a, a great foundation to tackle the rest of the, uh, the group games. the whistle so Jim who would you identify as the key man in this fixture yeah I'm not sure that words can do this fella justice Pete Diving header! and it's Di Maria in the script and you have to feel for it Peter it's ended in uh, some embarrassment Fortuitous as it may have been, they all count one. Well, you can't ask for much better than that, Peter. Bang, bang, two in double quick time. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Di Maria tries to get it forward quickly. Forward it goes. Moy plays it forward. Acuna gets it back. Lo Celso drives it forward. Messi, it's a loose ball. Oh, 
that's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Away from immediate danger. Mogic. Pings it out wide. And has it out wide now. Tries the cross. Well read, he sorted that out. Hoists it forward. Now it's Di Maria. Di Maria. Carries far too far and out of play. And it's played forward. Forward it goes. There are a few waiting for it. Lecky. Hoists it forward. The referee has just said play on. And the whistle goes for half time. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. That's just been exhilarating, Peter, and leaving everyone wishing for a little bit more, but we'll have one manager now trying to exercise more control, so we can only hope that they go at it again in similar fashion. Argentina come in, having established that lead, okay, where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. The action has already resumed here. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Surely! Turns and goes back. Tries to dink it in. That's another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Uh, that was just poor decision-making and a weak execution. Rogic. That's a brilliant interception. Australia showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Just has to be done. Could move up a gear here. Moy. Rogic. Gets his foot in there. Martinez. Di Maria. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Oh, good interception. Rogic with the slide tackle there. You have to say that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. He's in, surely! Acuna tries a pass forward. Martinez breaks on here. And the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Argentina can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. And that's it. Well, that's the way to launch the campaign. And they can look ahead with confidence and comfort. If you summarise what we've seen today, then, Jim. Well, they've laid down a marker with such a good opening win, and they're saying...